Today we're going to do a quick video demonstrating a sound that not a lot of people uh, might think the TG or SY77 is capable of. And honestly, it's not exactly the sound, but it's a very reminiscent sound. And that sound is the super saw. And the way we're going to start is by entering our edit mode. And we're going to select 02 2 AFM mono. And we'll go ahead, it's initialized, but let's go ahead and initialize. Sometimes um, parameters stay from prior experimentation. So we've got an initialized sound now with two elements, just a sine wave. Oh, and by the way, my fancy little uh, oscilloscope will let us see the sounds as we make them. For now, I'm going to turn off element two. And I'm going to work exclusively in element one. <clears throat> and we're going to go to the algorithm screen. And we're going to press F1 to bring us to our feedback matrix. What we're going to do is we're going to generate saws by using operator feedback. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our algorithm screen and we're going to select algorithm 45. All six operators are carriers that we will also use to create feedback, turning a sine wave into a saw wave. I'll show you how that works. So we move over to our source for feedback. What we're going to do is we're going to take the output of operator 1 and we're going to feed it into the input of operator 1. Then we're going to take the output of operator 2, feed it back into the input of operator 2, and you guessed it, the output of operator 3, and feed it into the input of operator 3. Let's check and make sure our input levels are all at 7. Now we only have three feedback opportunities in the TG or SY77. We're going to use all three, but we're going to do a trick at the end to double that. Now we're going to go over, skipping through screens 2 and 3, to our output stage. Right now, if I hit a key, you're going to hear the output of operator 1, which is something very close to a sawtooth. If I bring up the level of operator 2, you're going to hear a louder sawtooth. And of course, if I bring up operator 3, a very loud sawtooth. Not a very interesting sound. What makes a super saw interesting is that it's detuned and out of phase. So the next step is to go to our oscillator screen, O2. We're going to move around. And so what I want to do is turn off operators 4, 5, and 6. I'm not going to use 5 and 6 at all, and I'm not going to use 4 right now. So we can move between operators 1, 2, and 3 by holding down select and the operator button. Operator 1, we're not going to change. We're leaving that as is. Operator 2, we're going to do something interesting. <clears throat> and to demonstrate that, first I'm going to turn off Operator 3. So what you'll hear now is Operator 1 and Operator 2 again. Medium volume sawtooth wave. Move over to Phase Sync. What Phase Sync does is it, is it makes sure that every time you press a key, that waveform starts at zero. If I turn off phase sync for operator 2, something interesting will happen. And this, this may be best illustrated on the oscilloscope. Operator 2 is now out of phase with operator 1. So depending on when I press the key and where that operator's oscillator 
is in its cycle, it may start at zero, it may start at a positive value, it may start at a negative value. And that alone, that phasing, causes a great variety in tone and even in amplitude. So let's turn operator 3 back on and we'll move to operator 3 and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn off phase sync. So that creates a dynamic and interesting sound. It's still not what we're after though. The last thing to do with operators 1, 2, and 3 is to detune them. So operator 2 I'm going to detune it by setting the value to plus 10. Operator 3, negative 10. And now you should hear a much more familiar tone. Now that's three detuned and out of phase sawtooths. Let's go back to our output page. Let's turn up operator 4. We're going to set that operator to 110. Can't hear it because I've muted it, so we're going to turn on operator 4 by holding down the green operator button and pressing 4 on the keypad, and now you'll hear operator 4. Not very interesting. Let's go back to screen 2. We're on operator 4 already, and let's take our course tuning down to 0.5, which means it'll be one octave below. And now, now you can hear a sub-octave. Because we don't have a fourth feedback option, we are going to use the waveforms available to us to make this sound a little more interesting. Waveform 14, and we can listen and look at that independently now, <clears throat> sort of a triangle wave with a half duty cycle. At least that's how I think of it. There's probably a better technical definition. That's our sub-octave, sub this is our sub-oscillator. So adding back, operators 1, 2, and 3, here's our sound. So that's three detuned saws and one sub-oscillator. But if you recall, we did select a two-element voice. So what we'll, we'll do now, what we're going to do now, is we're going to enter element 2, which is currently off. And you'll see if I turn off element 1, turn on element 2, it's just a sine wave. I'm going to go into the algorithm screen. And on the left where you can't see, I'm going to press the red copy button. I'm editing bank D, patch 7. And so I'm going to select that as a source. And then I'm going to press the element button. And my element number 1, which we were editing just now, will be my source. And what this will do is it will paste element 1 into element 2. That's if we're lucky. And sometimes I forget. Yes, we're in element 2. So we're going to press Enter to enter any screen. Copy. Source is the same patch that we're editing. Element, element 1. Press Go. Fingers crossed. Now if we are listening to element 2, it should sound like copy of element 1. So now let's turn on element 1. And what you're listening to is six detuned saws and two sub-oscillators. There's one last trick. Go into the common screen. Screen 2. We can detune each element. So I'm going to bump up element 1 plus 3. I'm going to bump down element 2 minus 3. And now we should have our final sound. A 
fairly convincing, full sounding, detuned saw. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. <laughs>